Yes, it takes place of noun or noun. So a pronoun Isn't takes the place. Good? Yep, you're taking out your highlighter again. Sorry. Takes the place of a noun or nouns. Now, what is a noun? A person, place, or thing. At the top of this page, I'm going to write noun equals what? Person, place, or thing. So a pronoun is going to take the place of a person, place, or thing. Huh? What about an animal? Could you be person, place, animal, or thing? A thing can be an animal. Okay, an antecedent. What is an antecedent? It's a referent, but what else? Is the... Yeah, it's the noun or noun which the pronoun refers. If I said Carter is in my class. Who am I talking about? Carter. Carter. What would be a pronoun that you could replace Carter with? He, he or he. him. Could I say she? No. Could I say they? No. Could I say us? No. no, because I'm only talking about who? Carter. Carter. So what would be my pronoun? My pronoun I would replace it with would be what? He. he. But my antecedent is who? Carter. Carter. Okay, so don't worry. We're going to get into that. A pronoun and its antecedent, this is important, must agree in what? In a number and gender. In number and gender. That is very important. Again, it would be like if I said Carter and called him a she. Does that agree in gender? No. no. It would again be like if I called Carter they. Well, they is more than one. How many is Carter? One. Carter's only one, so that doesn't make sense either. So it has to agree in number and in gender. It says, before you use a pronoun, ask yourself whether the antecedent is what? Singular or plural. If the antecedent is singular, what? Is singular be it's masculine, feminine, or neuter? Masculine means what? Boy or girl? Boy. Feminine means girl. So I'm going to write that off to the side so that I remember. Mas ooh. Masculine. Boy, feminine, what? Girl. If masculine is boy, feminine is girl, then neuter is, it could be either, yeah. So it would be like if we talked about a group of people. Are all of us in here boys? Are all of us in here girls? No, so we would have to say words like they or them or we or us, okay? Then choose a pronoun that agrees. In the following sentence, the antecedents are underlined once. The pronouns are underlined twice. It says four students ate some lunch. They all thought it tasted good. Well, who are they? They are the four students. It, what is it? It is the lunch. Okay, so let's look at number one. Whew, out of breath. I want somebody to read it for me. Ooh, I don't I don't pick on people that ooh, ooh, ooh me. I sure don't. Um, Trayvon, read number one for me. Okay. Our directions say underline each antecedent once and the pronoun twice. Who are we talking about? Jinx. jinx. So jinx, did we say that jinx is a pronoun? No. Jinx is our what? Antecedent. So how many times does it need to be underlined? Once. And Jinx, like the dancing she saw on television, who is she? She is Jinx. So what is our pronoun? She. 
So how many times do we underline it? Nine. Perfect. Okay, number two. Kaden? Okay, Kaden, walk me through it. Who are we talking about here? Is that our pronoun or our antecedent? Okay, so it gets underlined once. Oh, no, it was not. Ooh, hold on. Reverse. Reverse. Jinx is not our pronoun. We got ahead of ourselves. Oh, Kaden, what is our pro or our antecedent? What are we talking about? The music. The music. So what is the antecedent, Kaden? What word is the antecedent? Music. music. And what is its pronoun? It. it. Thank you, Kaden. Okay, number three. Blessing, read the sentence. Okay, who are we talking about? Ah, thank you, Blessing. The who, Blessing? The gym teacher. And what is that, pronoun or antecedent? Antecedent, very good. And what is the pronoun that goes with the gym teacher? Blessing. The gym teacher was gone because he was sick. Who is he? The gym teacher. So, yeah, he is your pronoun. Okay. Next one. Emma, read the sentence. Okay, who is him? Him. Uh-uh. Him is a... Uh -uh. I'm asking Emma. Him is our what? Pronoun. And who is him? Him is the principal. So the principal is the antecedent. Okay, number five. Nisha, read it. Okay. Our pronoun here would be they. And who are they? They are the students. So the students is the antecedent. Very good. Okay, number six, Nana. Okay, what is our pronoun? Her. And who is her? Jinx. So Jinx is our... And... Yes, very good. Okay, number seven, Junior. Okay, what is our pronoun? Them. them. And who is them? Students. The students. So the students is our antecedent. antecedent. Very good. Number eight. I want to hear from somebody I haven't heard from. I'm sorry, I want to spread the love. Carter, go ahead. <clears throat> Pronoun? She. she. And who is she? She is Jinx. Jinx. So Jinx is our... Very good. Number nine. Praise Lynn. Okay, who... Or what is our pronoun? Three. They. And who are they? The students. The students. So students is the antecedent. Okay. Ben, go ahead. Okay. Don't get this one confused. What is our pronoun? We. Yes. Because what is our antecedent, Ben? You and I. That's who we're talking about. We're talking about you and I. Very good. Everybody got it? Okay, we're jumping down there to 11. <clears throat> Write a pronoun to replace each underlined noun or noun phrase. 
Number 11, I want somebody to read it. Somebody I have not heard from at all that has their mask pulled up. Trayvon? Okay, what's repetitive? What's repeating in this sentence? Josh. So what could we say instead of Josh the second time? Instead of saying Josh got a bruise, we could say he got a bruise. So I'm going to mark out Josh. And on the line, I put he. <sighs> okay, number 12. Abby, read it for me. Loud and proud. Okay, what did we repeat in that sentence, Abby? The students. So the second time, I'm going to mark out the students. And what could I say instead of the students? Because the students felt bad for Jinx, what could you say instead of the students? Ma'am? They. Sounds good. Now, this one has another one that repeated. There's something else that repeated in this. Kalia? Ma'am? Jinx. So I'm going to mark out the second jinx. And we said jinx is a, it's a girl. So what could you say instead of they visited her? Very good. They visited her in the hospital. Very good. And this last one, Colt, go ahead. What did we repeat, Colt? Square dance. square dance. So the second one, we can mark out square dance. And what can you say instead of square dance? And, well, square dance music. So that whole thing can be, boop. And what made the principal smile? Jinx played square dance music in the hospital and... Square dance music is not a male, it's not a female, it's not a group of people, so what could you say in place of it, Colt? It's a two-letter word. And blank made the principal smile. It. it. And it made the principal smile. Very good. Everybody got it.